worst enemies forever. Unhappy with her defeat, Ragna decides to take matters into her own hands. Speaking of reoccurring characters... Whatever! So you won! Who even cares? Ugh. All you did was beat up a few lousy, stinking skeletons! I won't hold back! I care, and I won't stop until my kingdom is safe! Urgh. Enough messing around! I'll crush you! Myself! Hmm? Ragna's moved deep into this region. She's even got a stronghold. A stronghold is a really important structure that anchors a faction to a region. To win, we can either defeat the stronghold or Ragna herself. I understand. I'm joining this fight personally. Look, over there, one of our knights has beaten us here. Knights are strong, fast-moving units. However, they're unable to capture structures. Only infantry and commanders can do that. Knights sound great. Let's get started. Hold your horses. It seems this knight is low on health. Is there something we can do to help? Indeed there is. This is where reinforcements come into play. Simply move a wounded unit next to one of your structures and select reinforce. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Sadly, structures are unable to regain health through reinforcement. However, their health will gradually be restored over time, as will that of certain units. All structures regain 10% health every turn, and all commanders such as yourself regain 5%. 360. Wow, that's expensive. <laughs> Excellent. Our knight's back up to full health. Yes. yes. Although it's important to note that reinforcing has its drawbacks. First, reinforcing a unit costs an amount of gold proportional to the unit's value. And second, the health restored to the unit is taken from the health of the structure. Got it. Reinforcements cost gold and transfer health from the structure. Okay, I should start by taking control of these barracks in nearby villages. Alright, how far can you move and how far can you move? I'll have you capture the barracks. And you just charge forward. And of course, they're capturing villages to help with their economy. As commander, you and Ragna are both powerful units on the battlefield. You can easily take down most infantry units and enemy structures single-handedly. Most Make the most of your strengths as a commander without risking your neck. Remember, the team that loses their commander also loses the battle. I let you down. Okay, I can do this. Uh, one thing we haven't done is look at the uh, crit of the knight as well as our own unit. Powerful mobile ground unit. Critical hit when it attacks from a location six spaces away from where it starts. So if you move it six spaces, then which is its maximum move, it'll attack harder. That seems like a thing you could plan, but is more likely to occur just accidentally. Huh. The hero queen of cherry stone fights for a people with the mighty cherry blade. That does not tell me anything about a crit. Fantastic. And Ragna? Valheim's patchwork general built to sow death and destruction. Alright. Um, capture that village. What's your range? Okay, you can't get over here quite yet. Might just duke it out. Mercia versus Ragna. Uh, where can you get to? You can attack all the way to here, right? So if I go here, then you're just out of range. Perfect. And meanwhile, let's... Do we start the pike train? I mean, they're really good. Rangers can be good too, mainly for defense because we want them to stay stationary. 
And nice, I believe, hit harder. Uh, 70% extra damage versus villages? Not sure what that's meaning. Do most units not do... I, I don't know. <laughs> it's not clear to me how that's different than other units, because I can't see how other units do against uh, structures. But oh well. Okay. Uh, we'll just get the pike trick going. Seems good. Ah, uh, running away, I see. <laughs> Ragnar just recruited a dread spear, a Falheim spearman. It would be prudent to check the spearman's info screen. Uh, I've done that already. Let me direct your attention to the table at the bottom. This table tells us which units the spearman is especially effective against. Oh no, it says they're effective against cavalry. Yes, spearmen will deal extra damage against units such as our knight. Go ahead and close this window when you're ready. We should make sure not to put our knight in any unnecessary danger. This would be a good time to check the enemy's movement range. How do I do that? Let me show you. By holding this button, you can display how far the selected unit can move. Awareness of the enemy's range is important when positioning your units. I should keep the knight out of reach of the dread sphere. Good thinking, my queen. All right. But I can have the knight attack the village safely. I mean, it'll take damage, but... Oh, never mind. My village, give that back! No. You won't get it back without a fight. Alright, you guys. We are right at your range. Fantastic. And Ragna is there. Okay. That should be outside of her range, which is what matters. Both of them will attack, but that is fine. And start bringing our pikemen forward. <laughs> uh, useless skeletons! If you surrender, we can just end this now. We don't have to keep fighting. Never! I mean, Mercy is taking damage, which isn't ideal. Oh, wasn't able to one-shot that group. This is mine now! <laughs> Interesting. Hmm, this part of Cherry Stone is more forested than I remember. Yes. We may be able to use this to our advantage. Different terrain types have different advantages and disadvantages. You may not have noticed that traveling through the forest will slow you down. Now that you mention it, I have also noticed that units struggle with mountains. Additionally, some terrain will increase or decrease the defense of a unit. Forests will give you a boost in defense, while rivers will make you more make you vulnerable. You can read more about each terrain type by checking its tile info. I will, thanks, Emmerich. Alright. She's totally going to kill our knight. Because I was like, I could just have the knight attack the village again and take it over. Huh. Because, yeah, the knight could take out the village. Or could attack Ragna and at least injure her. What about you guys? You guys can just move forward. That's fine. And I really should have sent units up here to actually capture that, because even if uh, my knight takes it out, knights can't capture villages. All I can do is just kind of keep it away from Ragna, which has a point.
now, and directly attacking isn't going to solve that. All right. Well, we'll have you take out that we unit. One v one. It's got to be fair, right? <laughs> and this is a suicide mission, yeah. So, stay with her. That will stop Bragna from being able to get to her, which is important. And you, what do I want to do with you? If I leave you pretty much anywhere up here, you're dead. I mean, even with the defensive bonus for the forest, it's not going to save me. Maybe pull back. He can still charge in there next turn to attack the village if I need him to. With the maximum bonus for doing a full move. Hey. I like those guys. Uh, use it to finish her off. I'm not sure what we're referring to. Okay, that guy can still attack from anywhere. Does a lot of damage, but not great. I'd like to get all my pikemen together. Maybe pull her back onto a mountain so that she gets defensive bonuses. If Ragna goes after her and then start bringing in all of my pikemen. Or, uh, yeah, take out the pikemen. Well, 7% damage when I'm still only healing 5 per turn is not ideal. But I really need to stop this pikeman from being a threat so I can bring my knight into the fight. So yeah, it's not ideal. Might turn out poorly. I won't fail. All right. If I attack, you actually live, which is weird, and do good damage to her. All right. Not sure how that happened, but go for it. And you guys keep marching forward. All right, and you don't really need to be afraid of that anymore. So take out the village. Seems reasonable. Take this. Yep. Yep, yep. Kind of expected. Oh, dear. Mistakes were made. Oh, and a new pike unit. It's totally not fair. Alright. Huh. I'm making a bunch of poor choices. So it, that is six movement. Uh, no, that does 24. If we go all the way around, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then attack. 
we should be doing more for the longer movement. But it's not looking like that's working. So there's something I'm missing. Critical hits when it attacks from a looking oh from a location six spaces away from its start. So it's not move six spaces, it's uh be six spaces away. It means even something like this, I'm not getting the full bonus. Well, let's pull you back again. You are sort of stuck in the middle of things in a horrible way. I might have lost this map. Um, move you forward. Okay, I can pull you back to here. Or hopefully you are out of range of everything. Now I can get another a ranger instead of a pikeman. Does that really help me? Maybe. Uh, I'd be able to shoot at Ragna from a distance. Uh, no, rangers, what I'm looking at. Sure. Why not? Get out of my way! Oh. I don't know why, but I was kind of hoping that Ragna would stay in place, and then my knight would rush over and kill it or do massive damage, but obviously that's not how that was going to work. Okay. If I move you out of the way, you can get over here and get a solid hit on, right? 30%. Not nothing. Alright, you move forward. I mean, he'll get attacked. Alright, how much damage do you do? 75%, so you won't even kill my cavalry, as long as my cavalry is uninjured but will severely injure. All right. Just trying to whittle down her army. And you, you can reinforce. I thought commanders couldn't reinforce at buildings, but okay. Sweet. Um, who do we have left? Oh, we have our barracks. Uh, you can't actually do anything. So, nope. End turn. I may actually manage to scrape a win out of this. So here you'll do 75% damage. Yep. Uh, no, I'd say a bit less. Oh, because I have a defensive bonus. I'm sure that's what caused that. So you can get over here and get bonuses to the attack. But she's on a mountain. But still, it's 
get the hit in. Yeah, I'm going to take out Ragna rather than focusing on taking out the buildings. I think that's going to be easier. Just 1%. Uh, if I move you out of the way, can you get in to finish? No, but you can. From here, can you fire? No. So I could move you forward to attack, which I think would just finish her off. Yeah. Go for it. And then the pikeman can follow up if needed. Pikeman needs to follow up. Okay. Go for it. You did it! Phew, that was tough. You're telling me. Uh, I lost? That's impossible! Uh, <laughs> I feel sorry for the voice actress they got to play that role. Impossible. You must have cheated! Uh, you cheated, didn't you? No. <laughs> oh, man. No. Uh... It seems pretty difficult to have a reasonable conversation with you. So, I'm going to go. Yeah! You'd better run! Uh! Lord Valder! Ragna. Quiet, Ragna, you disgrace yourself. <laughs> Stand aside and let me fix your mess. A rank. Not bad. I'll take it. Uh, I'm not sure what the stars mean, but I know the battle that we got the B rank, we only got two stars. I'm sure you can go back and replay maps if you want to. You unlock additional lore about Ragna. Awesome. And those in chat, if anyone wants to see any of the lore, I can definitely open it up and read it. Uh, or we can keep going with battles. I don't know, whatever interests people the most.